Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today, do we ever have a product showcase for you? I will be taking off all of my, no, sorry. We've got four routers here from a company that you may not have heard of before, JCG. However, we felt it was necessary to put the word out on the street about these. If you click the annotation here, you will see that this router right here was the long distance king when we did a router showdown between five different models in a real world test. So we figured it's time to show you guys the whole range. So here's the lineup guys, four different routers from JCG. One thing you might notice is that unlike the competition, JCG is not afraid to just add antennas to their routers. They have decided to use external antennas and they have strapped on whatever they feel is necessary to get the best coverage in your home. We're gonna start at the bottom and work our way up here. The JCG JHR N926R Plus High Speed Intelligent N300 Gigabits LAN Adjustable Power Router is, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Anyway, it's got 2.4 gigahertz wireless and 300 megabit per second. Two four decibel detachable antennas, four LAN connections. These are at 100 megabits, so this is not a high-end router by any stretch, guys. One WAN Ethernet port, one WPS button for quick connections, as well as a dedicated button for turning the wireless signal on and off. This is actually something I appreciate, not having to go and dig around in software if you ever have to like cut off your wireless for some reason. A dedicated button for regulating transmit power, which is really, really cool, and the LED display is the number of connected devices. Next up, we've got the JCG JHR N835R, high power wireless N300 router. This one also has 2.4 gigahertz wireless N, which to be clear guys, is not necessarily the most optimal these days. Five gigahertz is where it's at, but don't worry, we'll get to that in just a moment. It has three five decibel fixed antennas. So these ones, I don't know what uh, Wheels is talking about because they are clearly detachable, so whatever. Three five decibel antennas. It has the same port, except it adds a USB port so you can add storage to your router, well, to your home network in general, not just to your router. Your router doesn't need to store four terabytes of data, but uh, you know, you might actually need that for other things. It has a three level transmit power switch right on the back and the software allows for WDS wireless bridge mode, which is extremely handy and something that without third party firmwares, many consumer grade routers do not allow. Next up, we have the JHR N855R, or as I call it, the gimped spider, because it only has four legs left. But don't worry, for antennas, four is lots. For spiders, not so much. So this one supports wireless and dual band. So that's a total of 750 megabit per second, 300 on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, and 450 megabit per second on the five gigahertz frequency. So that's simultaneous dual band, more overall throughput. It has four seven decibel detachable antennas, a QoS button. So that's a quality of service button, which is absolutely baffling to me why you would need one of that, because those, because that's the kind of thing you would normally control through software, but hey, there you go. You can turn it on and off. Remember guys, QoS is great for optimizing a certain device on the network to get a higher priority for things like Netflix, for example. So it's definitely a great feature. The LED display shows you the number of users connected. It has gigabit ethernet ports, two USB 2.0 ports for storage, and also is extremely shiny. Finally, we have the JHR N936R, 750 megabit dual band wireless N router, or as I call it, the Fido Dido because of that hairdo. There you go. It's got that same 750 megabit per second speed, but features five seven decibel detachable antennas, that same four gigabit port interface, as well as a single WAN port, two USB 2.0 ports for storage, and its LCD display, or LED display, excuse me, is touch sensitive, allowing it to be turned off at nighttime as well. The software allows guest access, DLNA server for media sharing, uh, remote wake on LAN, that's actually a very handy feature. It allows you to schedule the wireless on and off and all that for power savings 
than security, and it features a repeater mode for better wireless coverage. It also allows for WISP or WISP mode for running a paid hotspot. So this is the kind of thing that is not, it bridges that gap between consumer grade and pro grade. So like someone who runs their own cafe, for example, might go with this, even though they don't need like a super expensive uh, Cisco wireless access point or something like that. As I said before, this one won out in our router showdown, but we've heard whispers of some new stuff from some of the other big guys, including one of the big router guys, of something that might be coming. So we'll be sure to film an update of our range test once that's available to find out if the old ruler of the roost, king of the hill, uh, puma of the um, jungle, thank you, is going to be toppled or forced to fall or rolled down a hill. Puma's roll, right? Thank you for watching. Comment below and tell us what is the length of your router antenna because that is the most important. Why is that even on there? Guys, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.com and do make sure that you tune back in for that upcoming wireless range showdown.